Brexiteer Dan Hennan has mocked Remainer Anna Subri after lashed out at Boris Johnson's Brexit deal. With just days before the end of the transition period on December 31, Boris Johnson secured a historic trade deal with the EU on Christmas Eve after months of gridlock negotiations. But while many have celebrated the crucial deal, Remainers have already lashed out at the agreement. On Christmas Eve, Anna Subri, who left the Tory party over its hardline Brexit stance, tweeted, Never before has a country so spectacularly shot itself in the foot. We are no longer Great Britain or a United Kingdom. Leaving the EU, the single market and customs union diminishes our country, will make us all a little poorer and narrow our horizons. But now, Brexiteer Dan Hannan has mocked Ms. Subri saying she has yet to digest the document as it was only published today. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, he said, this, remember, is not her response to leaving the EU, which happened 11 months ago, it is her response to agreeing cordial relations. Neither Subri nor anyone else has had a chance to digest the 1,246 pages of text of course. The treaty was only published only today. But ignorance has not stopped people opining with certainty and, often, with fury. He continued, Eurosceptics are supposed to want looser ties with the EU, yet they are applauding a long and comprehensive agreement with it. Europhiles are meant to love Brussels. But they can't disguise their annoyance that a doll has been done. Mr. Hennan goes on to praise the Prime Minister for being ready for a no-deal outcome, unlike his predecessor. He continued, we keep being told that the resulting treaty is thin, but it is remarkably broad, covering aviation, energy, social security rights, road haulage and much else. UK-based car makers, for example, have got the deal on rules of origin they wanted. Instead of facing gridlock in Kent on January 1st, we are likely to see the end of the pile-up that has happened under the existing terms. But Mr. Hennan does admit there have been concessions with the EU claiming three main wins. He added, first, it is helping itself to a shovelful of our fish as we leave though, given the capacity of the UK fleet, a phased increase in our share was inevitable. Second, it has secured a deeper accord on goods trade, where it has a big surplus with the UK, than on services, where it runs a deficit. Third, it has given itself the right to impose tariffs if it thinks the UK is undercutting its social or environmental standards. Announcing the deal, a Downing Street source said, we have taken back control of our money, borders, laws, trade and our fishing waters.